guys, welcome back to another video. I'm dying right now. I left my sunglasses at the warehouse yesterday and this is like, it's no fun. But we're gonna push through because we're gonna head to the warehouse in a minute. And the reason being is, I know I've talked about this in the last couple of videos. As you guys know, um, we use deionized water to wash our trucks. And the reason being is it basically allows the water to dry without leaving any water spots. And you guys have probably saw in the last couple of videos, this is the current deionized setup that we're using. This is uh, Chris's, he bought it from Eddie because Eddie decided he was gonna upgrade. And well, if you know me, um, I wanna go bigger, better, better as well. And that deionized system is cute, but we're getting its big brother delivered to the warehouse probably in about 30 minutes. We're gonna hop in the old Denali here and go ahead to the warehouse because I just got a call that the driver is on his way. So, we've made it to the warehouse. Now the other day we actually had an issue with uh, one of the neighbors over on that side, which, hold on, you probably can't even see with me. Um, we had an issue with one of the neighbors, and now mind you, we try to be really good neighbors, because obviously, you know, I don't want any issues, and I like to just get along with everybody. And as you guys know in the uh, non-truck I does truck review videos, Dave has a very energetic intro. Well, apparently the neighbor next door was not very happy about how excited and loud Dave's intro was. Now mind you, like, we're in our space, you know? And like, we're facing away from your wall, but regardless. So Chris was in the hallway and I guess the uh, the neighbor just lets himself into our warehouse and was making his way up the stairs here when Chris kind of stopped and was like, whoa, dude, like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, you guys are over here yelling. Uh, we're trying to run a business next door and uh, somebody's yelling about Madison Square Garden. Now mind you, like, we're trying to run a business too. And uh, you know, we're also tenants. We pay the same amount of rent you do. like. It's kind of, we're in an industrial complex. Like this place is stated to be an industrial complex. So you can make noise, you can be loud. I mean, two shops over on the other side of them, they got machining equipment, uh, lathes, mills, all that stuff. So if you're gonna tell me that's quiet. Plus, if you guys remember when we first moved in, next door, they run a very loud compressor. To which we were saying, well, we're not gonna be able to record any kind of podcast stuff when that compressor's running, but we're not gonna complain about it. We're gonna work around it. But anyways, that all kind of ties into like, why I'm spending a little bit more money on something here in a little while, but we gotta move out some space here because we're getting some stuff delivered and I want it to kind of go in this spot of the warehouse. So let's uh, let's move some stuff around. Uh, 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 Looks like I can see the truck just pulled up. That's perfect timing. Nice. Are these all the same? Yeah. Uh, yeah, all these the same. But I want to give you the new ones. I like the new ones. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Look nice, right? <laughs> Beautiful. How much do they weigh? It's like 300 pounds. Woo! Heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. This. Let me just put it inside. No problem. Uh, I think this side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is easy hookup, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. This side. City water is coming here. City water goes in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one is going to. Yep. D to here. Okay. And this one, whatever you want to reach. Pressure washer or whatever. Pressure mm -hmm. washer. Perfect. You make videos with them? Yeah, we do uh, YouTube. Yeah, I have another customer in uh, Alpine. Alpine. That's my buddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alpine, yeah. In, uh, well, you say hi. Say hi. You know Eddie on Al in Alpine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, Eric. There you go. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. That's a nice hat. Yeah. Awesome. They have black and those kind. Perfect. Uh -huh, and Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah. Thank you, Ezekiel. Okay, no problem. It. That's funny. So it turns out uh, Ezekiel is the same guy that installed Eddie's Pure Tech uh, deionized tanks. And I think it looks like uh, he told Eddie he owed him a hat or he was going to get Eddie a hat. And I think he, uh, he gave me Eddie's hat. So sorry, Eddie. I got your Pure Tech hat. So here's kind of my master plan of what I want to do with the two deionized tanks. Um, and obviously, you know, over the next course of however many videos it takes, once the parts start showing up, you'll kind of see really like it's going to make more sense to you. But Currently right now, obviously our water supply comes out of the wall right here. 
That's why I wanted the tanks here. I want them close to the water supply. And I also don't want them near the door over there because, well, that's kind of our basketball court. So there's no point in putting them over there. So I should probably start with what these are in case you guys um, aren't following along with the DINI setup. And basically what DINI's tanks do is they will take all of the minerals and the salts out of which would be the city water coming in over there. And uh, I guess it replaces it in, with like favorable ions. Um, I don't know, it gets a little more complicated than that. But regardless, it takes all the crap that leaves water spots on your vehicle out. And really the reason I went with the two tanks is number one, Eddie has two tanks and well, I can't have less tanks than Eddie. And the sales guy, which may or may not be true, was like, yeah, well the first one takes all the minerals out. The second one like polishes up some ions or some crap, I don't know and makes it even better. And I'm like, well, better sounds better. So at that point, let's go better. Um, and like, these are ridiculously cheap. So that's why I opted for the two tanks. Plus it really does double your capacity or if one, basically the first one's gonna do the grunt of the work. And then when this one goes bad, so it has a light on it. And what this light will do is I'm assuming it'll be green when it's good and then red when it's bad. I'm, uh, maybe there's enough cord on there, probably not to reach over to there yet. Gotta get an extension cord over here for that. Um, once this one goes bad, we could really rely on tank number two but uh, basically it's gonna extend and prolong our life. But regardless, we're gonna be piping the water in here from the city supply. It's gonna go through the deionized tanks. Then I'm gonna send it all the way down to that end of the warehouse. And I haven't exactly figured out what I wanna do or how I wanna do that yet, but basically I'm gonna put a spigot down here. So any of the water coming out of down here is already gonna be running through the deionized tanks. And once again, the reason I don't want the tanks over here is because this is kind of our, our basketball court. So I don't want to, you know, put a bunch of stuff in the way that's going to get hit or break one of the sensors or, you know, break a freaking uh, hose off the top and now we got a big leak. So I'm going to send it over to this wall. Then on this wall, I'm going to run a wall mounted pressure washer, a hose reel and whatever else we kind of need to mount to take care of all of our vehicle washing. And this is kind of where like the good neighbor thing comes into play. I've been on the hunt for the last like two weeks for a really quiet, but obviously like works really well, electric pressure washer. And the reason being is, you know, I don't want a big loud gas pressure washer that we have to fire up every time that we want to hose off the vehicles real quick, or, you know, we go into a show at night or whatever it may be and piss off all the neighbors. So I'm going to go with the quietest electric one that I could find. I already have it ordered. It should be here probably in a couple of days. So I'll, I'll be able to test that out, but it was, not cheap. That's probably like the most expensive thing in this whole ordeal is that pressure washer. Um, and the price of like an electric pressure washer, you could buy a couple of gas pressure washers, which the gas ones are more powerful, but you know, in trying to be a good neighbor. Plus I want to be able to run in here, just have everything set up, not have to worry about filling up with gas, not have to worry about pull starting it or if something's not running right. I want to be able to run in, grab the pressure washer wand off the wall, start spraying the vehicle down, toss it back in and we're good. So I'm hoping that over the course of the next week or so, I will have all of the parts and then we're probably gonna build our own custom shelving system on that wall. I know you could buy like stainless shelves and all that and like just start stacking them, but I want to make it like a one panel system. That way, uh, should we need to ever remove that or take that with us somewhere, um, I could pull it out of the warehouse, put it in my garage or you know, whatever it may be. So some of you guys may be wondering why I opted to go this method versus the CR spotless system, which would be what uh, Chris has and what Eddie used to have. And obviously Eddie upgraded this system as well. And it just makes more sense. So let's break down kind of dollar cost of what it costs for these tanks to be sitting here. If you were to buy a CR spotless system, which is the little system we saw at the garage, which would be right there, that system costs you, I think $420, give or take. Um, so $400, $420 initial investment, right? And that's gonna buy you that setup. This setup right here behind me, um, they need a $250 deposit, which is completely refunded at the time of termination. And there's no contract or anything like that. It's a month to month thing. So as soon as you're done with them and they come pick up the tanks, they give you your $250 back. But so we'll kind of keep that as the side, as $250 on the side there. The actual setup cost was $123. And really the main cost of that was because I had to buy two of these tank monitoring systems were, which are 60 something bucks a piece. So $123 to have them come out and drop two tanks. So initial investment is already $300 plus $250 deposit fee. And you guys can kind of figure out if you want to count that in or not uh, versus CR spotless is $479. Now let's talk about longevity um, and obviously like length of use cost. So the CR spotless they say is good for about 300 gallons. Um, 
from my experience, from what I've heard from other people, you, you, maybe closer to 200 gallons. It's really hard to gauge unless you actually have a meter on it. Most people aren't running a meter, but I think Chris said he gets about 15 washes out of his CR spotless system. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say 300 gallons. These tanks are good for about 1,000 gallons a piece. So give or take 2,000 gallons between the two, but really what you're gonna do is one's gonna go bad first, you're gonna switch it out before you really get to the other one. So this one will go bad, I'll have them bring me another one. We'll put this one kind of at the starting position and then the new one will be kind of backing that one up. So when it comes time to replace your CR spotless system, what's it gonna cost you? Well, you need to basically replace the resin that's inside of the filters. And Chris has already done this once and it is an $80 charge for them to send you out the new resin and you have to manually refill, like you have to empty the tanks or empty the, I guess, tanks, um, wash them out and then manually refill them yourself. So at $80 every 300 gallons on a good day, um, that's what it's gonna cost you to run a CR spotless system. So according to Chris, 15 washes. So $80 every 15 washes. Now these tanks, when one of these goes bad, I place a phone call to PureTech, they come out, it's a $65 fee for the new tank, and I think it's a $15 fuel surcharge. So you end up being roughly about the same cost for a thousand gallons, whereas for the CR spotless system, you're $80 for maybe 300 gallons. So you're over tripling the amount of capacity of water that you're gonna be running through it for a third of the cost. So now you guys are starting to kind of see the, the method to the madness of wanting to go with um, the PureTech tanks here. Now, the only thing being, you don't own these PureTech tanks, right? So you are renting the tanks. And this is like one of the, I guess, maybe bigger deciding factors in the fact that you have to pay monthly to have these tanks at your house, at your warehouse, wherever it may be. Um, and it's not expensive at all. The reason I even went with two tanks, which may or may not be a gimmick, is the fact that the second tank was just so cheap. So each one of these tanks cost me 15 bucks a month to have here. So they bill you every, or every 90 days. So it cost me, you know, 90 bucks every three months to have two tanks here um, full time. Obviously use them as much as you want or as little as you want. Now, that being said, if you're not using them, you're still paying 15 bucks a month per tank. Whereas a CR Spotless, if you're not using it, then it's just sitting in the corner. So on top of paying rent, the only other downside I see to them is size. Obviously two tanks takes up, I mean, we're talking, you know, maybe, I don't know, four square feet of real estate, if that. I mean, they don't take up very much space. But I can see if you've got a jam-packed garage, you don't want to have something like this taking up space. I'm pretty sure these things would survive just fine outside. Um, so you could put them outside on your side yard, in your backyard, um, you know, wherever it may be that you want to put them. And I don't see it being that big of an issue for most people, but if space really is a constraint or you live in an apartment um, or whatever your situation may be, I can see why the CR Spotless system would be more in your wheelhouse because it is smaller, it is more compact, and it does do the same thing, but just obviously less of it. So to me, the only downfall I see to this is that you have to pay monthly, and like I said, it's cheap, and the size of them. And even then, you don't need two of these. Uh, like I said, I kind of let them sell me into two of them. Eddie runs two. I don't really see like the downside to running. Like it's not going to hurt to run an extra one. Um, and for an extra 15 bucks a month, like it's not that big a deal. I'll, let's run two. But if you want to just run one of these for 15 bucks a month, $65 every time you want to exchange it, your startup cost would be even cheaper because I had to buy two monitors. So you'd be really a $65 startup cost plus the $15 a month. I mean, it's starting to look really cheap to just have one of these tanks sitting at your house at all times. And this video is not to crap on CR Spotless because I actually met the owner of CR Spotless at one of the events we went to a long time ago. Really nice guy. Um, he puts out a product that works and he was one of the first people to actually like bring this to like a consumer market. And you know, that's really cool. And I know they brought a uh, Simple Chuck is their new one that they're doing. Um, it's kind of like a fancier version of the CR Spotless system. And they work, you know, there's no doubt that they work, but to me, my biggest thing is like, I wanna, you know, if there's something better or if there's a better value out there or if something makes more sense, that's the route I'm gonna go. And that's the route that, you know, I wanna show you guys what other options are out there because really before Eddie did this, I didn't even know you could call some big industrial water company and they would drop off two tanks, even at your house. Like it doesn't have to be a commercial space that they're dropping those off at. So, you know, I could also send a big thank you to Eddie because without him, you know, I'd probably be sitting here borrowing Chris's CR Spotless and having to replace filters all the time. So I've mentioned it a bunch of times in this video already. PureTech is the company that I went with. I know they service like California, some of Nevada, maybe Arizona. Um, I don't know if they go to the rest of the country. So you guys are going to kind of have to do your own little research to find 
what like industrial water treatment uh, company in your area handles something like this. But I only imagine everything in California is usually way more expensive than the rest of the country. So you might even get this set up for cheaper in other states. I'm not sure. Now one thing I'm gonna do while we're here is get my sweet Mark Decola Diesel Performance Banner hung up. I raised the work for it one up higher and uh, I think it's only right we throw a little Mark Decola on the main wall here. Sweet, now the shop's starting to take place. I actually do intend on painting that back wall entirely black or maybe gray because I have enough leftover gray from the interior. Um, I'm not sure yet, but we do have some big plans for that wall eventually. And with that guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. As I get more in depth into kind of the pressure washer setup, the whole detailing setup we're gonna end up, uh, you know, kind of outfitting this place with, I'll obviously update you guys along the way. And I'll let you guys know really how well this system's working. I've used it at Eddie's house though, and like, it's, it's perfect, you know, it's just what you need. So I'm really excited to kind of see this place starting to take shape even more, my dream coming true. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, AKA a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. Like my buddy Mark Ticola, Diesel Performance does. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn.